Hello YouTube, this is English Shooting and as you may know my main goal, my main purpose for doing these videos are to get as many people into shooting as possible. So it's about time I make a video about how you actually get into shooting. So I've already gone into kind of like the legal aspect of what certificates you need and the procedures of getting those certificates, but how do you actually go and get your hands on a gun and try it out? Well it depends really what you're going to shoot. If you want to shoot air rifles under 12 foot pounds, you can go and do that any time. You can go and buy a cheap air rifle just to try it out. You can go and get an air rifle for a hundred pound, go in your back garden, go in a friend's back garden. If it's shotguns you want to try out, obviously you need a license before you can go out and buy one, but you don't need a license to be able to go out and shoot one. So if you don't want to spend any money, you don't want to outlay anything before trying it, your best bet is to find a friend that does shoot. If you don't know anyone, if you don't know anyone with a license, then just get to a playground. Go online, there's plenty of websites, most playgrounds have nice websites now which will give details and contact details. Just do a quick Google search of your local area and find somewhere close to you. Now, you don't have to be worried about paying for a lesson. You know, a lesson can cost anywhere between, you know, 60 to 150 pound an hour. You don't need a lesson. What you need is a taster session. Now again, most playgrounds will offer this. It will be probably in the you know, 30 to 50 pound range, you know, they can be more expensive, can be cheaper, but around that sort of figure. And you'll go around with an instructor, they supply the gun, they supply the ammunition, and they take you around and get you shooting clays. You know, yes, you might not be getting 50% you know, of the clays on your first go, but you will get some. And that's what they're there to do. They're there to kind of relay to you and show you how fun it is breaking those clays. So the hardest guns to get hold of, the hardest guns to go and shoot, are unfortunately what I believe can be the most fun, which are the rifles. Anything that comes under a firearms license can be exceedingly hard to have a go at, but there are ways. Now unfortunately, unlike with shotgun licenses, people that hold FACs and have rifles aren't allowed anyone without a license or a member of a club to use those guns. So if you're not a member of a club, if you don't have your own license, unfortunately you can't even use your friend's guns. They can't take you out shooting. So what can you do? Well, most rangers will actually have what they call guest days. Now, guest days are pre-arranged with the local police force and a ranger is allowed to have a set amount per year. So they will arrange for a guest day, organise it, and it will allow people that don't have a licence and who aren't a member to come down and try it out. So unfortunately, because they are limited to how many guest days they can have, it can be a bit of a wait. You could be waiting a month or two before your local range will have a guest day. But I'd still get in contact, find your local range, get in contact and ask them. If they're not planning to have a guest day, they might actually have one, not specifically for you, but out of a result of you contacting them, they might decide to have one. So you still get in contact if there's nothing online or there's nothing already arranged. If you don't want to wait for a guest day, then your kind of only choice is to become a member. But you don't have to worry about paying full membership because most ranges will offer a probational period membership. So it will be an initial joining fee that you'll have to pay. And then once you've fulfilled your probational period, and then obviously you're able to go and get your license. But after that probational period, they will then ask you for the full membership fee. And joining fees and the kind of initial fee you'd have to pay as a probational period would be kind of it's around the 40, 50 quid mark. Again, that can vary, but it is around that figure. So obviously it's 40, 50 quid before you've even shot a gun. But unfortunately, unless you want to wait for a guest day, this is your only option. I would really recommend at least attending a guest day. Put a note in your calendar about your next local ranger's guest day and just turn up. You know, they are there for you. That day is for you. And even if you're not planning on going on a guest day, even if you don't want to 
pay the probation or period membership, there's nothing stopping you from going down the range. You can turn up, you can have a look around, you can see what they shoot, you can see how they shoot, you can interact and have a chat and not spend a single penny. Obviously, if you want to have a go with the guns, that's when you have to either wait for a guest day or you have to become a probational member. So if you have any questions, if you need any help about your local area and you don't know where to start looking, just please drop a message, drop a comment on this video and I'll happily answer it and answer any questions you may have. Another really good source for information is obviously the internet. It can be quite vast and it can be hard kind of finding a central point to go, but one place I would certainly recommend is a forum called Airgun BBS. Simply Airgun BBS. Type that into Google and it will come up. Become a member on there and there are countless people on there that will help you with your questions. And don't worry about asking a stupid question. You know, you might think it's stupid, but trust me, hundreds and hundreds of people have asked it before. And you might think, oh, you know, we might get bored answering these repetitive questions. No, because it takes two seconds. You know, if it's a question we know if it's a question that we've heard before, we're going to know the answer and it takes us two seconds to clear it up for you. So don't be worried about asking a silly question or what you perceive to be a silly question because there's someone out there that's going to be asking the same question and there's always going to be people that have asked that question before. Another point of contact for you if you want to go and see people in the flesh is go to a gun shop. You know, gun shops can be daunting. They're always kind of locked up and dark and all caged up. But go in there, walk up to the counter and just say, look, this is what I want to do. I want to get into this shooting. I want to have a go, but I have no idea. You know, it is a guns shop main purpose to sell you a gun. And they're not going to be able to sell you a gun if you're not into shooting. So using people on YouTube like myself, using forums and using gun shops, if you go out and ask the questions, you'll find a way to get into shooting. So as always, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you soon.